Watch you guys, Windows 11 Home will require a Microsoft account and internet connection during setup process or installation of Windows 11. This is what a lot of the big internet websites are saying. And the reason for this is because they are not testing. They are literally just writing articles on the strength of what they think they know instead of going out and testing to see whether this is the case. And this is what we're going to be trying today. I see a lot of people concerned in the comments section saying they have Windows uh, 10 Home and they want to upgrade to Windows 11 Home when it gets released. And unfortunately, they don't want to do it because they don't want to have a Microsoft account. They just want to have an offline account or local account as it's known as well. Now you can see here, we are now connecting uh, it's checking for updates and we're doing the installation process. This is with the internet connection uh, on my computer. And you can see here, let's add your Microsoft account. When you go here and you see no account, create one, or you can see sign in with a security key, it's asking you for your Microsoft account. So when you see here, sign in options, you can click on the sign in options here. And when you click on here, there's no option for offline account. And this was the same thing for Windows 10. Nothing has changed really. It's the same. You had to uh, go offline mode. And people are saying on these articles that you can't do it and that Microsoft are forcing you to create an account and sign in with your Microsoft account to install Windows 11. And this got people panicked and worried. And this is because these articles are being created just for content and to get clicks. They're not sitting here and spending time testing stuff like I'm gonna show you right now. So if this is the case, you could create an account and then basically log out of that account and go into a typical local account, just like this. This is a Windows uh, 10 home. You can see it's a local account and you can see here, I've not activated it yet, but it's local account administrator. And I didn't have to sign in to install uh, Windows 11. So it's a lot of misinformation out there. And even if they were forcing you, what would be the point? Because you could just log out of that Microsoft account and use a local account. And that's exactly what you can do, as you can see here. So it's no point them forcing you. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So we've got no internet on at the moment. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the setup process of the user account. And you can see here, I've got no internet. I'm just going to go and do it exactly the same thing here. And we'll go through and take a look. So I'm going to skip the second keyboard layout and it will go ahead and try to check for some updates. Of course, it can't update because we have got no internet connection. Now there is a downside to this, which means that Microsoft now can't go off and try to find the drivers that it requires for your system, which could end up leaving you with loads of drivers that are missing on your computer. So it might be best just to uh, set it up with a Microsoft account and that way it will go off and literally go and get all the drivers for you. And then you could go back into a local account straight away. You could make a dummy account, whatever you like to do. But by skipping this process, it won't download any sort of drivers from their servers and you're going to end up uh, with a load of drivers missing. So once it's finished its little thing here, it's going to go straight to this area here and ask you to put in your username. And this is because now it's putting you into a local account because it can't create a online account because you don't have internet access. So it will just basically let you do this in this way. So now we can just put in our username and go through the same process and probably turn all this stuff off here. And once this is done, you should be okay to accept this and it will go ahead and start to set up your account. So, those articles are there for one reason, and that's just clickbait and just get people uh, getting all paranoid and panicking about having to have a Microsoft account when really it's the same as Windows 10. You can just basically set up an offline account this way by taking out the uh, Ethernet connector from your computer. If it hasn't got a, a connection to the Internet, uh, there's people saying that it's forcing you to do it. But if it is, then you just go ahead and un change the account you can see we've got no internet connection here and we're at desktop and we can now go ahead and take a look inside here in settings you can see we have got a local account on windows 10 home so all that panic and drama is uh, not necessary and this is the problem with the internet nowadays they're pumping out these um you know tutorials to get ahead of the game 
And of course, a lot of this is a lot of misinformation, as you can see here, because they're not doing the testing. They're just surmising. And we can see Windows 10 Home Edition. And you can see here it's not activated, but you can see that it is a local account and it's Windows 10 Home. Now, of course, if you was logged in at this stage, you could easily go into your user account inside control panel and uh, change what account type you want and make it a, a local account and sign out. It's that simple. You can see how to do that. So if you did have to set it up and they forced you, you could easily take that feature off and go into a local account, as you see here. Now, I also want to point out that this isn't the final release of Windows 11 and these options and features can change. Microsoft could actually lock it completely out in the final release where you won't be able to uh, bypass it by taking out the Ethernet cable or something along those lines. I very much doubt it, but it's something you have to consider. Also, another thing to remember is by disabling uh, the internet to log into a local account during installation, it might uh, miss out your network drivers, which means if this is your only computer, then you won't have any internet connectivity because the driver has been missed during the installation process, which then means you have to have another computer to download those drivers or have a CD to hand with a CD-ROM drive that will accept uh, those drivers which is a bit of a ball lake, to be honest. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. So do you need a Microsoft account for Windows 11 Home? No, you don't, as far as I can see here. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate it. I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now.